everybody, Jeff Stone here with day 83 of the year 2015 at magicreviewed.com. Uh, I'm trying out some new lighting here. Hopefully this turns out all right because it just wasn't working before, folks. So anyway, um, I will, we'll see. Uh, today we're looking at Touched by Morgan Stribbler. It's like Stribbler, sort of almost Stribbler, but not Stribbler. So... Uh, he pronounced it Stribbler, but he has a little bit of an accent. So anyway, Touch by Morgan S. Uh, <clears throat> well, this is a Sans Minds product after all. And, um, oh, wow. I just noticed something that makes this even worse. Dang it. Sans Minds, stop it. Stop freaking lying to your customers. I'm sick of it. This is, I don't even know how many videos now in a row that I've reviewed from you guys, and you're a bunch of freaking liars. You're lying on your ad copy, you're lying in your videos, you're lying on the back of your freaking DVD. I'm, I'm to the point where if I get a Sans Mind product, I'm just going to give it zero stars without even watching it. Who cares if my review's honest or not? You guys aren't. When are you guys going to freaking wake up and knock this crap off? Oh, man. And the bummer is, this is a really good DVD. Uh, Morgan Stribler's material is incredible. The methods are incredible. Everything about this DVD, except for the fact that Sans freaking Ethics produced this thing, this would have been a sol This would have been five stars if anybody else produced it. But because these guys lying in the ad, it took them less than six seconds to tell their first lie in the ad trailer. Here's a picture of it here. I don't know if you can see that. That soda can sitting there on the table. That's in the ad trailer. It's the first few seconds of the ad trailer, and you see somebody's hand there, and um, I don't know if that's Morgan Strabler's hand or not, but in the ad trailer, he just does a little wave like that, and the can knocks over. That's not even in the DVD. It has nothing to do with this DVD. Yet, it says, you can imagine you can touch people with an invisible hand. So it's talking about this ability to move stuff and touch things, not move stuff, but touch things without actually touching them. And so having a can as the opening scene and the top of the DVD that gets moved by not touching it, you'd think it'd probably be part of the product. But no, it's not. Why? Because these guys can't stop lying. Anyway, man, it just irritates me to no end. In the written copy, all right, let me talk about the effects. Maybe that'll calm me down a little bit. Uh, th these are all PK touch type effects or PK type effects where... Uh, you got two spectators and you, you know, like it's based on the Banachek thing, um, where you tap on spectator A, spectator B's got his eyes closed, you tap on spectator A's shoulder and spectator B feels it on his shoulder. That's the basic effect. So the first two are cold, completely impromptu. You can do anytime, anywhere. You don't need any props. You just need two humans and you need exactly two humans. If you have more than that, the effect doesn't work or right, it'll work. But if there's other people around, it's they may see stuff you don't want them to see. So if you're in a situation with two people, those, these are perfect. The methods are just dead simple. One of them is um, you tap the person on the left shoulder and uh, the other person feels it. And then another one is a very similar thing where you just kind of run your finger across the top of their chest there and the other person feels that same thing. And in both cases, the person who's being touched swears that you never even went near that other person, let alone touch them. Very, very powerful, very, very effective, and a very, very good method. Um, the next one is called tobacco. And uh, tobacco is interesting because um, you, again, one guy's over there with his eyes closed, and you're over here with one specter. She's got her hand upside down, and imagine this is a cigarette, and you're rolling it back and forth so the tobacco's falling out, sprinkling onto her hand. He feels that sensation of something sprinkling onto his hand. Um, and so... Uh, that that's another uh, effect. And that one is not impromptu. It does require you to have um, an invisible thing, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, and so um, Morgan Stri Stribler rec recommends having two of those invisible things in case it, one breaks. Uh, anyway, so there's that one. And then the next one, um, oh, I don't remember all of them. Shoot. Um, well, there's another one where it's the same as the tobacco effect, but their the spectator's eyes are open and they're staring at each other. And 
in real time while you're sprinkling the tobacco on her, he's feeling it real time, like at the exact same moment. That's very, very powerful. You know, the other ones, if you're familiar with the Banachek thing, you know that it's not happening like that. These are real time things. Uh, another one is where you make a paper rose. She's, you hold it uh, without the girl knowing. She's got her eyes closed and she doesn't know that you're holding a paper rose under her nose. You're holding a real rose under the other guy's nose and his eyes are open. And you ask the girl with her eyes closed who's got the paper rose, what does she smell? She smells a rose. She opens her eyes and realizes that she's sniffing paper that has no scent, but the other guy over there was sniffing a rose. So the effect there is that she can smell stuff using his nose effectively. Um, and then there's another one that's very similar. It's also real time where you have a guy with his eyes closed and a person with their eye open, eyes open. You grab the girl's hand and you blow on the back of her hand. And as you're blowing on it, the other dude feels the blow on his hand real time. So uh, I think that's all of the methods or the effects on there. He also covers his handling of Banachek's PK time. Um, it's the one where the watch, um, you know, you use your mind to move the time on the watch. And he's got some really good pointers on there. All of the tricks were explain, explained well. The methods are all very, very smart, very clever. The two tobacco ones will require that invisible thing. The uh, effect where you blow on the spectator's hand requires a little gimmick you're going to have to make. Uh, he tells you how to make it and everything. Everything was just taught so well. Uh, everything explained properly. And he just, he, it was clear he planned, um, you know, I don't know if he's planned and scripted out the whole thing, but the whole video just felt really well put together. And I, I give that credit to Morgan Stribler, not to Sands Mines. Um, I don't know, maybe they helped. But right now I'm just irritated at them, so I don't want to give them any credit for anything at this point. Anyway, so the whole, if you're looking for this kind of stuff where, um, Oh, there's one other one. I remember the other one now. Sorry. Um, it's this one. You don't even do the, the the magic. You got two spectators and one has her eyes closed and the one with his eyes open is told to touch his... He is whispered so that the other girl can't hear it to touch his arm in three different places. So he taps here, here, and here. And she feels three taps in those same spots on, on her arm. And so that's just the spectator, not even you doing the work. So, um, some powerful stuff, number one, but again, the rating isn't affected by my opinion of the effect, but the methods, these are good methods. They're very good methods and they're very doable. And if you carry around that invisible thing, you, and, and you have just that, and you don't have the gimmick for blowing on the hand, let's say, but you just have the invisible thing. You can do every single one of the effects on this DVD, except for the blowing on them thing. Um, and in, for some of the effects, you don't even need anything. I think two, maybe three of them were just totally impromptu completely. So, uh, th that's what you're getting. It's 50 bucks. Now, here's another weird thing. Uh, oh, I wanted the DVDs in my player, but it's two DVDs long. But one DVD was 36 minutes, the other one was 40 minutes. So, the total runtime is an hour and 16 minutes. Why make two DVDs? I have no idea. Another deceptive technique to up the value? Another lie from the liars? I don't know. Um, and by, I'm not talking about Morgan Stribler here. I'm talking about um, Sands Mines, man. Uh, they also maybe needed to make room for all their freaking commercials at the end of the DVD. I don't know. I'm not sure why it was two DVDs because there's only four tricks on each DVD. Um, so he gives a lot of great tips, a lot of great ideas, a lot of great concepts. Um, he even has a great one for if you've ever done the PK Touch and you get one of these idiots that that's the one that's supposed to, you know, you tap that guy and this guy over here feels it, but he claims he never felt it, and he just refuses to play along, or not play along, but to admit that he felt it. Uh, he's got a great, awesome idea for how to handle that, that uh, not only makes the effect more magical, but it also makes that guy um, not look like an idiot, but um, it makes it to where the guy can't deny what happened. Very, very clever. It's, it's my favorite thing on the DVD, I think. So, if any other company had produced this, you know, somebody that has some ethics, you know, like Big Blind Media or Alakazam or, or EMC or Paul Harris Presents or any of these guys that have some ethics, unlike Sans Minds, Sans Ethics, that's my new nickname for them, 
thank you to somebody on my YouTube channel for coming up with that. I can't remember who it was, sorry. Um, so I stole it from you. Uh, anyway, speaking of lack of ethics, I'm stealing your idea about ethic names. Anyway, man, I'm just irritated right now, guys. I really am. Um, anyway, if any of those other companies would have produced this, five stars. I mean, seriously, five stars. It's a killer DVD set. But, so they lie about this stupid Coke can thing, which I didn't even realize was on the cover when I wrote the written review. Then, in the ad copy, the written ad copy, uh, he, there's one line where it says that there's even an effect where the spectator can be staring in his own hand and feel the sensation real time that the other person is feeling. The effect they're referring to is stare, which is the one where they're staring into each other's eyes and he's dropping the tobacco on her hand and then he feels it real time. That's all true, but except for the one part in the ad copy where they claim he can do it while he's staring at his hand. No. The spectator can not only can the spectator not stare at the hand, but Morgan Stribler even says don't let them stare at their hand. That He says specifically that if they do that, they might see the gimmick. So, they might see the method. Um, and so, he, the, the effect is called stare because his whole presentation is that if they stare into each other's eyes, they can connect with each other, and then he can do something over here, and then he'll feel it over there. And, uh, and that, so, that's the whole point of the effect. And in the ad copy, they're saying, no, you can look at the hand, that the spectator can look at his own hand. No, they cannot. Man. What do we do about this, guys? I'm serious. I really don't know what to do about this. I, I'm sick of these guys doing this. And the problem is, Morgan Stribler, as far as I know, has a good reputation. I've heard a lot of good stuff about his other work. This is the first thing I've actually watched of his. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. He said on the DVD that he's got tons of new products coming out, and he's doing them all through Sans Minds. That worries me. You're going to take a guy that's got a good reputation, I think, as far as I know, and it's going to be destroyed by publishing his stuff through this crappy company. On top of that, now you can't entirely um, put all the blame on Sans Minds, uh, although they certainly have a track record of this crap. But this is Morgan Stribler's product, and I don't know how, you know how it works if they don't allow him to have any say or whatever, but I'm sure he's seen the ad copy. I'm sure he's seen the written uh, ad copy and the, and the video. He should have, and he should have said... Uh, I don't want this in the video because it's misrepresentative. I don't know if he did or didn't or if he said that and they said, too bad, we're leaving it. I have no idea. I don't know. Anyway, I cannot give this product a good rating. Uh, if, now, if you don't mind supporting these freaking liars and perpetuating this problem and and if you don't mind the fact that they don't have respect for you, they don't have a single drop of respect for you, the potential buyer, because if they did, they would be honest and to tell and tell you truthfully what you're getting, or at the very least, not put in a bunch of crap that you're not getting. I mean, I get you got to protect the method, you don't have to expose everything in the ad trailer, but you don't have to add stuff in there that isn't even remotely related to the DVD. This is ridiculous. So, do you continue supporting these guys? And then at the same time, now you're hurting Morgan Stribler, who's a decent person and as far as I can tell, is honest and doesn't do this kind of crap. So it's hurting him. So what do you do? Do you support his, this product because it'll help support Morgan Striebler? Or do you not support it and because Sans Minds are a bunch of liars? I don't know. Whatever. The star rating is 2.5 stars. Stone status of Grubble. Not a gem, not a rubble. It's a gem of a product. A gem of, a, of, of effects and methods and all that stuff. Uh, but it's a rubble of a production company. It's unfortunate. So, that's it, guys. It's time for you to like this rant. Subscribe to my channel. Share it to your people. And listen to the random iTunes song of the moment, which is... Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. You guys know this song? Tell Laura I love her. I love that song. That is one of my favorite songs ever. It's a total tragic... 50s, you know, melancholy song um, about a kid who wants to get married and to this girl, Laura, and he loves her. And so he goes off for a stock car race, and there's like a prize if you win. 
and he ends up getting killed in the race. And uh, it's just a really sad but awesome, awesome song. Tell Laura I Love Her. I can't remember who originally sang it, so I just downloaded it off of iTunes. I bought every version of it I could find. Um, I just love that song. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And, man, I hate to even do this, guys, but tomorrow, day 84. Yeah, another Sands Mines. By another guy that I like, and I like his material so far that I've seen. I've seen two or three of his videos, and I've, I've thought all of them were well thought out, well constructed, well taught, everything. That's Nicholas Lawrence. Um, and this one's called Split Second. I just hope that they these freaking liars aren't ruining his reputation too. And you know, I'm not much of a name caller, guys. I really don't like doing that. But I don't know what else do you call somebody who has done this to us over and over and over again. I gotta shut up now. I'm just my blood pressure is probably going through the roof. I'm just irritated as heck. I'm just tired of it. So tomorrow we'll find out if they're lying again or if they put out some honest stuff here. Either way, I I'm hoping that the material at least be good. You know what you need to know to decide if you're going to buy this Morgan Stribler DVD. It's a tough situation to be in. Good luck. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in tomorrow, day 84, for this one. Peace out.